turn in your badge. Well, I'd rather not, but with or without, I'm seeing this job through. Well, I don't accept your resignation. And I'm still your superior. It's not up for debate. I'm giving you a direct order, Detective Falconeri. You go anywhere near Sonny Corinthos, then you're obstructing justice, and I'm going to have to arrest you. I hate to do it, but I'll do it. Well, then brush up on your Miranda, because I'm not stopping until I dismantle organized crime in this town, mobster by freaking mobster. Stickball? <laughs> yeah, close as I can manage. Mm -hmm. I'm sensing you're homesick. I missed you. Where have you been? Family emergency. Uh, everything, everything work out okay? Yeah, yeah, for the moment. So, where are my cheesy pickup lines? Uh. I got nothing. Wow. Yikes. You really are <laughs> homesick. Yeah, you know, I guess you could call it that. I was just thinking about this time when I was playing stickball when I was a kid in the street. And I made a promise to myself, and I'm trying to figure out if I can keep it. I'm... I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, you know, don't feel bad. I'm... I'm you're not the only one. I, I'm not making a lot of sense to a lot of people these days. At least about myself. Okay, well, I'll just... See you around. <laughs> Have you ever wanted something... You know, so bad? I mean, you, you, you burn for it in your gut. And you're like, you're so close to the finish line, but you realize that it's just not going to be as simple as you thought it was? That innocent people who matter might get hurt. I grew up with that father. Literally, my, my mom doesn't know who the guy is. I mean, it wasn't so bad. I had a crap load of uncles and cousins, and if anything, there were too many people around, you know? I come from a very boisterous... Opinionated clan. <laughs> Sometimes it could be a bit much. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, there was one guy I related to the most. He, he wasn't a family member. Mr. Paletti. He was my best friend's dad. And I don't know, maybe, maybe he felt sorry for me or something, but... <laughs> he would include me in whatever he did with his own kids. Baseball games, camping trips, you name it. I mean, he really went the extra mile to make sure I had that father figure in my life. He sounds like a wonderful guy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, right up until the day he was murdered. Everyone knew who gave the order to. One guy, and one guy only ran our neighborhood. But no one came forward. It was like... Mr. Paletti's death was what was supposed to happen. Or something, I don't know. Anyway, I was in the street playing stickball shortly after we buried him outside this restaurant. This big, long, black limo pulls up. This man in a perfect suit gets out. The whole street goes still. Everybody just stared in awe at this man with his fancy clothes and his aura of power, like, like, like he was something to respect. I mean, everyone knew that he ordered Mr. Bloody's death, but it didn't matter in the face of all that, I don't know, what, what charisma? Just a second, I thought. Man, I could run up to that guy and cold cock that bastard in the head with my stick, but he always had bodyguards with him. I never would have got close. But it's interesting now, you know? Things come around all these years later. I'm finally getting close. So that's it then. The reason that you're in the mob. You want to avenge the man that loved you like a father. Yes, Mr. Bloody is the reason behind a lot of decisions I make. 
So what's the plan? You're gonna hope that Sonny will help get revenge against the person who killed Mr. Politti? Close enough. Are we talking about Anthony Zagura? No. <sighs> well, you seem strangely happy to hear that. Uh, um, no, I mean, I, I, I hate Anthony Zakara. I hate him. Um, I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to go against Johnny. If it got complicated into that, sometimes things do, and... No, I have no desire to hurt John. In fact, I, I think he's actually okay. He's one of the only wise guys I've met that isn't responsible for choosing to actually exploit and hurt people for a living. That, again, see, that's the second time you talked about the mob like you hate it and I, 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 at first I didn't understand it I couldn't figure it out but now I think I, I get it you know you got into this business because you want to avenge the man that loved you like a father yeah so well I'm I'm just saying you know I think you should ask yourself if this is something that Mr. Paletti would have wanted an ancient custom. It's called, uh, that. What does it matter, right? The cops, uh, had to let me go. They didn't have as much evidence on me as they said they did. Well, you should have called me. Why would I do that? Because I was concerned. <laughs> well, well, call me paranoid, but I didn't think it'd be a good idea if anyone found out we were together in a hotel room when I was busted. Good point. That's a good point. Yeah. We're gonna have to meet somewhere else. <laughs> That's, uh, it's not gonna happen. No, actually, it is gonna happen. Tomorrow night, as a matter of fact, you're gonna give me what I want, or I'm gonna tell Sonny that you're Olivia's son. It, what the hell is with you? If Sonny's not making you happy, why don't you find some other bed, buddy? Why does it have to be me? 